question two. Okay, this question is about uh, halogen. Uh, A, part one. Describe the color of group 17 elements, chlorine to iodine at room temperature. For the chlorine, we know that it's a gas, so it's a yellow-green gas like this. Uh, for bromine, it's a liquid, so it's a brown uh, color. And the iodine is a solid, uh, it's a black solid. Sometimes uh, it can be gray, eh? so it's a, a black solid, eh? iodine. For the part two, describe the relative uh, reactivity of the elements chlorine to iodine as oxidizing agent. So first, uh, you need to know what is oxidizing agent. Uh, means uh, it's oxidized others. Uh, at the same time means it gains electron so it need to gain uh, electrons from others so others need to get oxidized and release electron and the halogens will gain the electron okay that's why we say that the halogen is an oxidizing agent mm -hmm. so now the uh, reactivity of this uh, chlorine to iodine okay is uh, depends on the size means uh, as oxidizing agent means ability to gain electron so we know that when down the groups chlorines to bromines to iodine uh, the size is getting larger the atomic size is getting larger so therefore uh, it's going to have a greater shielding uh, caused by the numbers of electron shells and the ability to gain electrons from others now is getting weaker when the ability of the the for the gaining electrons is getting weaker so means the oxidizing power is decreases uh, less able to gain electron because of the size and the greater shielding of course you no need to explain this one in this part uh, you just need to mention the relative uh, reactivity as oxidizing agent so oxidizing power decreases down the group for part three state what is observed when chlorine reacts with hydrogen uh, chlorine with hydrogen will form hcl uh, of course the best answer is this what you can see uh, just now already told you is uh, the yellow green gas so when the hydrogens react with chlorine so the green color disappear because the chlorines now react with hydrogens from HCl. Uh, some candidates they will put a white film because HCl is kind of like always a white film. Uh, but in order for this uh, white film to form, actually it needs to have some moisture. So therefore, the better answer it should be the color here. The green color disappear. Okay, for part four, explain why thermal stability of hydrogen's halide decreases down the group. Uh, thermal stability, stability means uh, how stable is the compound when we heat them. Uh, so now, thermal stability decreases means it's easy to decompose, easy to break. Uh, that's the meaning. Why is easy to break when down the group? Uh, so first, from HCl to HBr, to HI okay we know that when this one uh, is uh, uh, decomposed or undergo bond break so it must because of the covalent bond and the bond length is getting longer okay because the size of halogen is getting larger the bond length between the HCl uh, HBr and HI now is getting longer when the bond length is longer, the bond strength is weaker, means easy to break. So that's why HI is the one that easy undergo bond break. And it will form the hydrogens and iodines again. So that's the, that's the thermal stability of the hydrogen halides. Because the bond length is longer, bond strength is weaker, easy to undergo bond break. So that's the meaning. So that's why uh, we have this answer, uh, because the uh, hydrogen's halides, okay, uh, HCl, HBr, HI, right, the covalent bond is longer down the group, 
therefore the bond strength decreases easy to break okay so for part b the halogenol alkane okay this one coral ethane form when chlorine reacts with uh, this uh, ethane uh, using uh, or with this uh, free radicals uh, substitution so define what is free radical this one is quite uh, straightforward uh, as long as a species is has one or more uh, must mention these two together uh, one or more unpaired electron so the species we call free radical mm, that's a definition for example like the methyl radical and the chlorine radicals uh, part two state the essential conditions uh, for chlorines to react with the ethane this one it must be the UV uh, sometimes we say sunlight but more specifically is UV because the UV in the sunlight will uh, use for the homolytic fusions uh, between the chlorine molecules okay so uh, sorry between the chlorine atoms uh, sorry because uh, the chlorine um, atoms so they, there is a uh, one covalence bond there the UV will use to break the covalent bonds homolytically uh, in these chlorine molecules, right? So one electron to the chlorines each. For part three, write two equations to show the propagation step in this reaction. Uh, propagation means uh, the free radicals regenerate. Uh, so first it started with uh, the initiation step. Okay, means the chlorine molecules break, uh, which to form the two chlorine radicals. And the chlorine radicals will approach the ethane, and uh, it will let one of the CH bond uh, undergo homolytic fusion, and uh, it's formed this uh, ethyl radical. So the hydrogen radicals will combine with chlorine radicals to form HCl. Okay, again, uh, one of the CH bond will break, in the ethane uh, is break homolytically one electrons to carbon one electrons to hydrogen so it will form hydrogen radical and the hydrogen radical will combine with chlorine to form this hexia and of course the ethyl radicals form and this ethyl radical uh, so it will uh, approach another chlorine uh, molecule uh, to form the this uh, coral ethane so means now the chlorine here will undergo homolytic fusion one electron move to this chlorine another electron move to this chlorine so the chlorine radicals produced here will combine with these radicals to form this coral ethane and uh, uh, the chlorine radicals regenerate and it used for the first step again so this we call propagation part C um, trichloromethane uh, is another halogen alkane uh, is formed when propanone reacts with this uh, uh, sodium chloride uh, sodium chloride one um, so the sodium chloride one is made from chlorine in a disproportionation reaction okay, identify a reagent and conditions that can be used to convert the chlorine to this uh, uh, sodium chloride one okay this one is very easy because the oxidation number of chlorine here is uh, is a positive one so therefore we need to use uh, the uh, cool sodium hydroxide okay cool sodium hydroxide when we use a hot sodium hydroxide so it will form the this uh, sodium chloride fight uh, so in order to form the sodium chloride one uh, we must use a cool sodium hydroxide uh, if you wonder how these uh, equations or uh, how these uh, products produce uh, so this is how it undergoes so chlorine react with water form the two acid HCl and HClO and these two acids will further react with the sodium hydroxide in the alkaline solution to form the two salts sodium chloride one and sodium chloride okay you sum up these two these two equation so you get this overall so chlorine with sodium hydroxide Okay, form the this uh, sodium correct and sodium correct one uh, with water right so this is the equations K 
okay, when the chlorine reacts with the uh, sodium hydroxide solution. Okay, part two, define disproportionation, very easy, a reaction where a species undergo oxidation and reduction simultaneously at the same time. Uh, so means now the chlorine, uh, chlorine uh, initially is a zero oxidation uh, number. After the reaction is a negative one and positive one. So the chlorine now is undergo reduction and oxidation. Okay, part three, write uh, numbers uh, uh, in the boxes to balance the equation uh, uh, showing the reactions of propanone uh, with this uh, sodium chloride. Yeah, this is quite uh, straightforward, quite easy. So you just uh, balance it, you get these numbers. Okay. So now the last part. Um, aqueous silver nitrate dissolved in ethanol reacts with the aqueous solution of the trichloromethane. Uh, so this is a halogenal alkane uh, and is uh, with the water and at the same time with this uh, aqueous solution of silver nitrate. Um, so means now the trichloromethanes will undergo hydrolysis because there is a water and state what is observed in this reaction. So after hydrolysis, uh, you need to understand uh, of course, this equation you will no need to know. Uh, trichloromethane with water will undergo a hydrolysis very slow and it will form uh, the, this uh, methanoic acid and the HCl. So it will form the HCl and uh, the chlorine here or the chloride here, it will further react with the silver ion. So these two will form the white precipitate. Again, the chlorides that produce will form precipitates with the silver, white precipitate with silver ion. So therefore, in this uh, reaction, uh, you will see a white precipitates produced, okay, which is a silver chloride. Okay, you just explain like this. Huh? The chloride ions are released when the trichloromethane is hydrolyzed. Okay, so this chloride therefore reacts with the silver ion to form this white precipitate. Okay, that's all. Thank you.